What is up? Risk takers, welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete, I am a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me for today's episode. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to see through the fog. Playing a five player game on Boston World Dawn Progressive. I'm in the final position. Settings for the game. We're playing World Domination on uh, World Domination Progressive Cards on Boston. Auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we have one, the yellow bot. With no blizzard, no portals, no alliances, and fog is on. As I said, I'm in position six in the first position. We have Vital from the United States of America playing as Magenta. We do not see where they go. In position two, we have the yellow AI. Figure. Okay, yellow knocks me out of that position. Rolls a 5v1. Okay, I can still see that. He continues to move into the board. I can still see that. Okay. In the third position, the white player is Basil Cortez, 19 from France. In the fourth position, General Loy, 16670, playing as orange. In the fifth position, we have Antoine, the purple player, also from France. And I'm in the final position. This is the former Chiquita Grinface playing as green. Yeah, no surprises there. We're going to lose a three stack turn one to white. So I am in less places. Given that I'm putting in six troops, if I don't lose this corner of the map, that might actually be the wisest place for me to put all of my reinforcements. Yeah, but too bad Orange takes it. Okay. Orange just overextended. I think I'm going to have to rely on the bonuses to tell me where people are. So I figure orange is here. The yellow bot's going to do some shenanigans in the middle. White is here. We do not see where purple goes either. I figure magenta must be up in one of these pockets. Boston is a really great map to see through the fog because of how many small bonuses there are. There's three, or rather there's two two for twos, Alston, Brighton, and Charlestown. There's one three for two of downtown. East Boston's also worth three. Then you have the Fens in Jamaica Plain worth five and Waterfront. Roxbury is worth seven. West Roxbury is worth five. Harbor Island is worth four. And Dorchester is plus ten, if you can hold it. Looks like we see purple bought out on the first turn. So I am going to go with a large single stack play at the beginning. I'm going to add to my six and I'm going to move into um, the downtown bonus. Yeah. Okay. We have two AIs in this game. This is fine. So I'm going to add to my six. I'm going to get a card on a two and then I'm going to pull my two into my four. Now we can't see a lot of this board visually. But we did see orange player overextend. I lose a bunch of troops on that too, too. Not the greatest start so far. We move on to the second turn. We do see that uh, Magenta holds one of the plus twos. It's going to roll my two. God damn it, man. This is a rough, rough start for the old Pete, man. Okay. So Magenta is either here or here like I predicted. And now they're here as well. Yellowbot doesn't start with any bonuses. My goal for this game is to, ooh, now I can hide in the bot for a while. My goal for this game is to keep a large position and not get in anyone's way, such that nobody gets the bright idea to kill me. And all of that is going to be a big if. Orange sure sees a lot of me. Do we expect that Orange holds the Harbor Islands? We'll find out as soon as their turn begins. White definitely held West Roxbury. So white is likely expanding out. Yes. Predicted that one too. Okay. And he pulls back. Oh, great. So if I don't open, white will not feel threatened by my five stack and I can keep getting takes off it. I do really, really, really want to stay in two positions if possible. All right, at the beginning of Orange's turn, here's how you, here's another key skill 
We're seeing through the fog, guys. The beginning of Orange's turn, we see they start with three, which means they don't hold a bonus, which means that Orange overextending to take that purple four out of the corner didn't really do them any well. They don't actually hold the bonus. They do get a card. Everyone is trading normally, and now we have a purple AI with a five stack in the middle of the board. I think I'm going to add one to my five and the other two on my nine. The only player that can see my nine is Orange. Uh, purple bot goes in a direction I can't see. Yes. It loses six troops. They hit a big number. Huh. I would love to know who's here. If it's magenta or not. This is my line of play. Okay. So, I'm going to get an easy take off the five, but I do want it to still be a five. I'm going to get it here, because that... I'm going to get it on yellow because it doesn't open white. And the only player who can still see me. Well, now Magenta sees me as well. Okay, I'm going to pull back to that position. So I have a five stack and 11 stack and I take a Joker. All right, Purple did not get a card. That's also important to note. Purple Bot failed to take a card on their second turn. Move on to the third turn. Magenta holds just a plus two, not the other plus three. And they come out of the top, popping. Ah, now we know where Magenta is. Great. So here's the question. I know Magenta is here. I know Magenta is here. Do I end their game now? I think I try to. Now, reason for this is they just spent a lot of troops. How much could they be guarding with? I could run. Those are basically two options, right? I can either run or I can try and break break and basically force myself into a 1v1 with Magenta, which would make it a three-player game if I win that. We still don't know who's up here. Okay. White is continuing to hold West Rocks. We, White is going to be super strong. Um, and they are going to expand out of the west of this map. White being super strong can be fine for me if they take up a lot of the board, thus compressing everyone else into a smaller area and allowing me to make kills when the time is right. We do see orange still fail to hold a bonus. Yeah, I think I go bad neighbor to Magenta now. It's a risk. This might backfire if they have cards early. But then again, I will because I have a Joker. I think I go bad neighbor to Magenta now. I bet you there's no material in here. So those are just two singles. And I wonder how, I figure he's also guarding that on with some amount of troops. So I'm going to have to break, break, break with my... 14 troops, but I will. I'll have enough to do it. Okay, and uh, Purple Bot comes out of the other pocket. That's good to know. Purple Bot's aggressive. Purple Bot also didn't start with a bonus, right? They did. Purple has this. Uh, okay. Well, I've made my decision. It might backfire, folks. So we want to see how much... Um, Magenta is guarding on this position. Ooh, yellow bot has, yeah, it's a five stack. That makes sense. I'm gonna try and steal their position from them. So if they have five, six, seven, he's gonna break me. And here he comes, seven, six, six V three. Yes, okay. So we are in a attrition battle. Pulls back. Okay, cool. Now, the bot did the bot hold? Because it looked like the bot, yes, the bot has this, which is going to be really bad for Magenta trying to guard on this position. So purple has has this. And they're attacking down. Yellow bot has that. Having strong bots in the game right now is good for me. 
and also white being super strong. Has orange quit? I think I can go for the magenta kill. I actually think that's my line. So I'm going to set early. I'm going to add a single troop to my five. So hopefully I can roll a 5v2, which is a plus 90% roll. I add the rest to my two and I try and make that kill. It's risky. It is a risky, risky play. If I don't kill Magenta, he kills me. Maybe I run. The other line is I run up into Purple's corner. Let's see what Purple does. Yep, they hold the other plus two. All right, and it hits my my single to try and take a, take a plus five as well. Yes, fuck. Well, oh my god, yeah, I pretty much have to kill Magenta, or else my game is over. So let's see if I get it. <laughs> pretty much have to do it, and when I have to get a little lucky here, guys. Oh, no, that's not happening. Okay, good to know. Well, let's see if they break me. They should. They should set and break me. Do they hold? No, they got broken by the yellow bot. Good. I can see all of Magenta. This is good for me now. Pretty sure I can see all of their positions. Didn't need to overextend. The existence of this three means that I will not be able to kill, or w was not able to kill them on that turn, so overextending would have been bad. Now they're thinking about what to do. Maybe they also bought. Who is still alive? White is obviously still alive. White is super strong. Yellow and purple are bots. Maybe Magenta is botting now. I think they have, because I think they got broken by yellow. Also, purple is now holding a plus two and a plus five, right? You see how I'm tracking this, not only to figure out where one person is, but also to figure out where everyone else isn't. We see uh, Magenta set now because they've bought it. No, they're going to hold four cards. That's juicy. That is a juicy, juicy kill if I can snag it. Okay. Three players remain alive in this game. Myself, orange, white. And white is huge. Did yellow hold their bonus? They did. I figure yellow's probably cleaning out this. The bots are strong. Right? White continues to hold West Rock Roxbury, which they took from the first turn. The only player who can see me is now also an AI. Yeah. There's white. At some point, white's going to get the bright idea to take a second bonus. But not yet. He's just guarding really, really strong in his corner. Okay. Orange, I figure. So I know orange isn't here. 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 So the only part of the board orange can be is Dorchester or the islands, which is which will be helpful if I can line up that orange kill. But orange is going to survive to set. At least I hold my bonus. Ooh, okay. Um, purple got broken. Somewhere here, purple got broken. South end, probably. Good to know. And sets. Okay, so they're going to retake south end. Purple bot looks like they're prioritizing taking continents. Okay. Okay, they either went this way or that way. We don't know. Okay. 
I think purple holds three bonuses now. One, two, and three. So what do I do about that? Um, I think, I think, I think, I think I let these AIs hit each other. I'm gonna get a card off my exterior while it still exists. And if the purple AI didn't set, or the magenta AI didn't set, then they won't now. And then I'll hopefully be able to snag that kill on five cards. This is my line, okay? So, um, magenta botted last turn. The fact that the bot didn't auto set tells me they don't have a set on four, which means that they're going to get a card now, which means that they're going to be holding five cards. If yellow is cleaning out this, if this is magenta's final position, I lose the four. Okay, I'm going to have to make a fairly risky play to come down and kill them for five cards. Will I have enough? Well, what am I going to get on my next turn? Five? Okay, yellow sets. Does yellow start with? Yellow's bonus was broken. He starts with six. So yellow has this now, but not this. I think I can get that magenta kill unless there's a big block in my way. I'll have a 17 stack to do it. It'll be worth five cards. Maybe white beats me to the punch. Less likely, but maybe orange does. I need to snag a big kill now. Okay. White trades gets the 10. Do they take a second bonus? Does white think small? Do they maybe assist me with the magenta kill? Is magenta in another place I can't see? And then I'm sunk. A lot of ifs, right? I gotta go for that magenta kill. Unless orange beats me to it. Okay, orange gets a plus seven, which means they're holding the islands finally. So holding bonuses on this map really does tell on yourself in fog. Let's see if we can snag this magenta kill now. An orange probably broke a uh, yellow bot here. They set and get the 12. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. So I'm going to have to hit through um, a mystery territory. We don't know what is here. I hope the purple stack isn't too large because if it blocks me from being able to kill magenta, the old peepin might be in trubs. But I have se I'll have 17 troops, so it's 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 possible. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Maybe purple helps. We'll see what purple gets at the start of their turn. They're going to hold... They're going to at least get five. They only get five. Okay, great. So purple doesn't hold any additional bonuses, except for the one they've held all game. Cool. Maybe they go bad neighbor to magenta. I'm going for it, guys. I have to go for it. This is my uh, line to victory here. Then maybe I can parry, swing back around, kill yellow. Either that or investigate the bottom section of the board, which I haven't really seen yet. Okay, that is a block. No, that's a big block. I think I still have to go for it, guys. Wish me luck. Ooh, he's somewhere else. There we go. That worked out. Okay, now we're back in this game. So my, I, I can see the board. So what I do right now is I hide. Both white and orange are stronger than me. But now I can see the board. So I know where everybody is, all right? Orange is here and here. White is here and here. Purple is here and here and here. Yellow is here and here and here. I can see the whole board, and now I can make my kills. So who's on the chopping block? I think yellow. I also, I need my 21 to get opened. I figure someone will. 
yellow started with. Are you guys keeping track of where everyone is? Yellow started with only this. Okay, and white gets 13 because white holds a second bonus. White's playing it like it's fixed. So white has this and this. Do we see them go bad neighbor to orange and knock that stack off their border? My opponents are not playing this mode like it's predatory mode, right? My opponents are focused on bonuses. Okay, he's going to hit me out of the pocket, which is fine. Both orange bot or both purple bot and yellow are in contiguous positions. I'm going to kill yellow, but I'm not going to get open. What's the set? The set's 20. Can I kill yellow with a 20 set? Ooh, probably not. I have to kill magenta or I have to kill uh, purple rather. Orange goes bad neighbor finally. What does he do? Does he hit a bunch of yellow? Is it enough? Is it enough for me to clean yellow? I think, ooh. Purple's gonna get a card, which will set me. Okay, kill purple set, kill yellow set. Kill orange, maybe. I think what I do... Kill purple set, kill yellow set, retreat back to my position. With a single massive stack. Kill purple set, kill yellow set. Okay, let's do it. can see all of orange. I could probably kill orange too. I'm forced to trade the Joker. That's always disappointing. Uh, how much is in this pocket? Not much, right? Let's split off. I think we win now. Hey, there you have it. Beat the shit. Out. White. But white will have a chance to counter attack. I'll pull one of these threes into the far corner. Let's see if they open both my stacks, but I'm holding five cards. So no matter what they do, I come at them with a bigger number. I'm a well played in a good game. They don't even set. And there you have it. All right. I'm very happy with how this one went. Did they bot? No, they're just playing haphazardly. Yep. Good. So a couple of things in this video, how to see through fog, how to master bo Boston, how to play around the bots. Really glad it all worked out. And he opens my 21. There we go. Leaves me with three bonuses, two bonuses, three bonuses. Awesome. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. Yeah. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me.
I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch for the winter. And we are defeating two novices, a beginner, and an expert. The best player in this game was Magenta, so I did go hard into him right off the bat. Hope you all enjoyed, folks. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.